Hi there, welcome back to the Art of Business English episode 75 here today. And I'm back in Spain after a week in, in London and I must admit it was, it was fantastic. Had a great week. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my podcast last week on top tra travel tips to London. And this week I'm back in Spain. It's not sunny though. It's, uh, it's not, not great, the weather here. Anyway, the weather was better surprisingly in London last week. But anyway, um, I'm super busy and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. We've just had the Easter weekend and uh, today it is St. Jordi's Day, okay, which is quite popular here in Catalonia. Uh, so I'm trying to get things done. So I'm basically I've got a quick episode for you guys today because I also need to get moving with my uh, excellence in email writing online course, which I'm going to be basically launching this week, I think, I hope. Uh, anyway, let's get on to today's episode. So this is episode 75. And basically, I'm going to be old school here. I've got my whiteboard here. And I'm just going to teach you guys a few little tips. Now, this episode is about expressing reason. So expressions for how we express reason in English, and also uh, how you can introduce uh, ideas or supporting ideas to make your you know, your excuse or your argument stronger. Now, if you haven't checked out my episode, I think it was episode 24, okay? And I'm gonna put a link to that on uh, the show, in the show notes, which we'll, I'll be uploading later. But if you haven't checked out episode 24, then definitely take a look at it, because in episode 24, I look at a lot of uh, examples of like how you can use sequencing language uh, to introduce ideas and to clarify. And that's a great precursor to uh, this lesson. And this lesson is basically like, once you have introduced the idea using sequencing language, then we really need to give some reasons behind why, okay? So this is gonna be super useful for you, for your emails, and obviously for any time that you're communicating orally with someone, so in a meeting or negotiation, okay? And basically, we're gonna be looking at quite a few expressions today. So I'm gonna start, got my pen here, let's hope it works. And I'm gonna show you basically the ones which we're gonna introduce, uh, we're gonna to use today to introduce ideas, okay? So the first one is uh, as a result of, so as a result of. And this one, as always, I'll give you the, the, the English and then the Spanish. So this one is como consecuencia de, okay? So the first one is as a result of. So you can lead in as a result of something and then you give the, the excuse, okay? Next one is because of, and this is probably very common with you guys, uh, because is super easy, okay? And you probably use it a lot. However, today I'm gonna to encourage you to not use because, uh, because I want you to use these other expressions because they sound really good, they're quite elegant, they can be used in your formal, uh, in, in more formal situations. And it's a, you know, it's a way to like make your vocabulary range a bit broader. Okay, so the next one is due to, and um, due to and because of are the same. They're like debi de wa, okay? So really useful. Uh, I love debi de wa, I love due to, use that all the time, okay? And we can also, also put due to the fact that, that's also very common, okay? So these ones are great. Uh, another one is in response to, in response to, and, and respuesta a. And basically like, uh, you know, this, this can be when you are well, giving uh, some information or some excuse or uh, idea in response to something that happened previously. Okay, so pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the next one is uh, paused by, now, you need to be careful because caused by is a passive, okay? So remember, passive is more formal, okay? And less direct. So just be careful with your passives. Sometimes that can be a bit difficult. Um, the next one, uh, sorry, and that basically means uh, conducir, llevar a, um, and dirigir. Okay, so these, um, this has several words in Spanish that you can use for it, all right? The next one is to, to okay to lead to and that's like culture um, um, 
Oh, sorry, caused by, yeah, caused by is mm, the be the as well. Bueno, and similar to lead to, I mean, that can be what I said previously. I got, I got them confused actually, sorry. Uh, so basically like, that's the be the as, and this one, lead to, is the about a, or dirigir, or conducir, okay? So, sorry, a little bit of confusion there. So caused by is due to, and lead to is llevar a, or conducir, or dirigir, okay? Now, the next one is to mean. And to mean is significar. Okay, esto significa. This means. Okay, so, you know, this means, da 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 da, and then you give you a reason. Okay, so really simple uh, expressions, but uh, much better than just saying because. Okay, and the last one is owing to. Now, owing to is very similar. It's the same as due to. Okay, so again, to be the wow. All right, so you can use any one of these expressions to sort of lead in to um, giving an example or giving some reason for something that happened. So basically like I've got an email here and I'm just going to quickly read it to you guys so that you can get a feel for what I mean. So dear customer, I regret to inform you that your order has been delayed. Okay. Unfortunately, this delay is owing to uh, a problem with one of our suppliers who had a fire at their warehouse. As a result, we have sourced the merchandise from another supplier and hope to have the order dispatched to you in the coming days. Sorry for the inconvenience caused and should you have any further questions, then please do not hesitate to contact us. Yours sincerely, Customer Service Department. So, you can see I've used is owing to and as a result, okay? so. Basically, what I've done is I've, I've there's been a problem with uh, an order, and instead of just saying, I'm sorry, your order's been delayed, I've actually given some information and excuses as to why that has occurred. Okay, so that's how we can sort of put them into practice. Now, in the last part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly show you guys uh, some other example context, well, some other examples in context, just so that you can you know understand how they're used. Okay, so let's take a look at those. Okay, so as a result of, all right, first one. This is a result of delays installing the new system on your network. Two, because of, output will be reduced because of an unusually high number of workers on sick leave. This, due to is the next one. This is due to difficulties we are experiencing with the machinery. Next one, in response to, this is in response to recent customer feedback that the company has received. And the next one, caused by. This event was caused by circumstances out of our control. And to lead to. This engineering works will lead to short-term disruptions of travel services. And to mean. This will mean that you will receive your order in the coming days. And the next one, owing to there will be a short delay in responding to customer inquiries owing to planned server maintenance. Okay, so people, there we have it. That is uh, a number of, there, there are a number of phrases there or expressions there that you can use to give a reason for something, okay? And that's much better than just using because. Now, before I finish, I just wanted to let everyone know that for my AOBE listeners, okay, I am going to be opening up uh, enrollment for the uh, Excellence in Email Online course. So basically, I'm going to be opening up this enrollment period only for uh, my listeners, my AOB listeners. Okay, if you're not uh, an AOB listener or if you're not on my email list, then you won't get access to this early bird offer. Okay, so check it out. It's at www.theartofbusinessenglish.com forward slash E E O C. So that's E, the letter E for España. Okay, so E E O C. So Excellence Email Online Course. That's what it stands for, basically. Okay, so www.theartofbusinessenglish.com forward slash E E O C. Okay, so that's the letter E for España, E España, O for online, 
and C for course. Okay, guys, so check it out. Uh, I'm gonna have a special offer up for you guys. Uh, so get in there early. And I really look forward to seeing you on my online course. Uh, it's basically gonna be covering a lot of stuff. You will be hearing from me in the next couple of days with some more information. I'm gonna be basically releasing a couple of videos and sending it directly to you guys so that you can see what the course offers. But if you're interested and you wanna have a look at the early bird offer, then head over to that website address and take a look, okay? Well, people, that's it for me. I am very busy, so I've got to run, but I hope you're all having a lovely Easter, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you next week. Okay, guys? Take care. Bye for now.